Hello all and welcome to this hands-on lab. In our lab today, we will learn how to manage tags leveraging AWS Tag Editor. Couple of things to keep in mind before we proceed further ahead. Using AWS services leveraged in this lab can incur charges. Hence ensure that you clean up all resources after completing this lab. Scenario for our lab today. You need to provision two EC2 instances, two DynamoDB tables, and one S3 bucket, and manage tags for these resources, leveraging AWS Tag Editor. In this hands-on lab, you will learn to create, modify, and delete tags for these resources, leveraging the AWS Tag Editor. Set up for our lab today. You need to provision two Linux EC2 T2 micro instances in your default VPC. You need to create two DynamoDB tables and create one S3 bucket. So let us go ahead and finish the setup. So the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to provision two EC2 instances. So click on select and then T2 micro is fine. I'm going to provision two instances over here. Don't really care if it has a public IP or not, right? We are just provisioning resources, guys. We are not going to add any tags right now. Configure security group. I have an existing one, so I'm going to use that. Really doesn't matter what ports are open. Remember, we are only trying to provision resources review and launch launch instances okay so these are our two ec2 instances running right here so the next thing that we want to do is we want to create an s3 bucket so click on create bucket you're going to give it a name tag editor is on lab bucket. This is the name that I'm giving. You can pretty much give any name. I'm okay with the region and other settings. I'm going to continue further ahead and click on create bucket. And a bucket should be provisioned. The next thing that we are going to do is we are going to create two tables. Right? So create two DynamoDB tables. Say Dynamo DB one. Okay, you can give anything as uh, the primary key. Again, we will not be populating this table. We are just provisioning this table. So we will provision two tables over here. So create table again. Right, and we will call this table as DynamoDB2. Again, you can give the same partition key or primary key and then you'll be fine. Okay, so we have basically provisioned two EC2 instances, one S3 bucket and two DynamoDB tables. Let us go ahead and even name our EC2 instances, right? So we can say EC2 one, save this, right? And then say EC2 two, and save that as well. Okay, so we have completed our basic setup. First step, we will learn how to tag resources or basically create tags using tag editor, right? So basically what we will do is uh, we will tag all provision resources with this tag value. So key is um, application environment or app ENV and the value is dev. So let's go to services, then go to res resource groups and tag editor. Oh, 
Over here, go to tag editor. And then we are good with the region. And over here in resource types, we will select S3, EC2 instance and DynamoDB tables. So let's start with S3 bucket right there. We will say EC2 instance and we will say DynamoDB table. So we have selected all three resource types, right? So these are the resource types for the resources that we have provisioned. And we will click on search resources. So hopefully all those five resources should be enlisted over here at the bottom. We have all of them right here. What we are supposed to do is we are supposed to provision all these resources with the, the list tag value, right? So select all of them. Click on manage tags for selected resources. And then you scroll down, you can say, click on add tag and over here say app env. And then the value for this key is dev. And then click on review and apply tag changes. Apply changes to all selected. So all our five resources have been associated with this particular tag. So in fact, if you go and look at your bucket and you click on properties, right? You should be able to see this tag right here, is right here, right? And the same thing will be true for the other four resources as well. After that, we will export all tags for all resources as a CSV and review its data. So go back, go to resource groups, right? And then over here, click on search resources. And hopefully all those resources are enlisted here at the bottom, select all of them. And then click on this export five resources to CSV and click on export all tags. Remember we are trying to export all tags for all resources that we have provisioned. So click on export all tags. And now go to show in folder. And this is the resources.csv that was downloaded, right? So let us look at this particular data. So you will see the identifier over here. Remember we named our two EC2 instances and they are considered as tags. So you can see those two names over here. This is a service type, the resource type, region. And then finally over here, we have our tag, right? And you see the number of tags also per resource. Okay, so this is good. This is what we have right now. This was our intention. So let's go ahead and close this. Do not save it. And now we will proceed further ahead. So we have completed this step. In step two, we will modify our resource tags. Okay, so select any EC2 instance and change the key value of uh, app ENV to prod. So we basically change the value from dev to prod for app ENV key. So basically uncheck this and select any one EC2 instance. I'm gonna select this EC2 one, click on manage tags of select resources. Okay, and over here, for this particular tag key app ENV, we are going to change its value to prod. And review and apply tag changes, apply changes. And hopefully our changes should be made successful. So they are. Export all tags for EC2 instances as a CSV and review its data. So we are going to do that. We are going to remove S3 and DynamoDB. Click on search resources. And our two EC2 instances should be enlisted right here at the bottom. 
click on export to resources to CSV, export on all tags. And another resources CNV, CSV, sorry, should be downloaded. So this is the one that has been downloaded now. Now let's look at the difference, right? Last time we had only one tag. Now we have, uh, we still have one tag, but different values. So again, if you see over here, the key change from the previous resources, uh, CSV is the tag values for app env key. We still have uh, the two name tags and the total number of tags uh, per EC2 instances two. Okay, so let's shut this, close this. Okay, so we completed these two steps. The next thing that we are going to do is we are going to select any DynamoDB table and change the key name this time from app env to environment. So remove and remove the EC2 instance, select resource type as DynamoDB, search resources. Our DynamoDB tables are enlisted at the bottom. Select the first DynamoDB table and click on manage tags of selected resources. So what we are supposed to do is we are supposed to change the tag key, not the value, the key itself. Now, if you see this key is read only, I'm trying to type over here, but I cannot make the change. So the key is read only. Now, how do you change the key? The only way to change the key is you'll have to remove this tag and then add a new tag. And now give the tag name as environment. And you can give any value that you like. Let's say I'm going to put uh, staging. Okay. Or you can put anything that you like. And review and apply tag changes. So this will be removed as a thing. And this new tag on the top will be applied to this particular EC2 instance. Sorry, to this particular DynamoDB, my bad. To this particular DynamoDB table. Apply changes to all selected resources. Okay, so hopefully our tag changes should be applied to our DynamoDB table. Okay, now what we are going to do is again, we are going to export all tags for DynamoDB tables or the CSV and reviews data. So click on search resources. Okay, and you have the DynamoDB tables and listed here. Select both of them, export to resources, export all tags. And we have another CSV file downloaded. And we are going to go ahead and open this particular CSV file and review its data. This time around, remember we changed the tag key. So for one of our DynamoDB tables, right? So for the one that has DynamoDB uh, one as identifying, you can see that there is another tag. Tag is environment, the value staging. And there's nothing over here for app environment because that tag is not associated to this particular table. And the DynamoDB two has the older values where app env is there. The total number of tags, as you see over here, is one for each table. But I wanted to showcase this to you. See the representation, right? So you have one tag for each, let's say if you had additional tags over here, and maybe you had additional tables, right? Then it is a possibility that you will have additional columns. It, could, it is a possibility that each table has one tag associated to it or multiple tags associated to it. So let's say, just in case we had this as prod, right? And this has the staging as well. I'm just giving an example, right? Then here you would have two tags, but that's not the case, right? So this is a possibility. So depending upon the number of tags that you have uh, associated with a resource, Right, you will see all of them enlisted over here. There could be several tags associated 
within resource, right? And then you will see the total count of tags over here. Okay, so I'm not gonna save this. I'm just gonna close this, right? And we'll move further ahead. So we basically completed all of these steps. So what we saw till now is how to create tags and associate them with resources, how to modify tag, resource, tag uh, values, and how to modify tag key. The only way to modify a key is if you delete the key and then recreate the tag key along with its value. And we also saw how to export tag data for a specific resource or a resource type. The next thing and the last thing that we are going to learn is how to delete resource tags, right? So in this step, we are going to select all provision resource types and delete associated tags. So let's go back and let's go and select EC2 over here on the top. So we'll select EC2, we'll select our S3 bucket, right? And we will click on search resource. So all our resources should be enlisted at the bottom right here. So all our five resources should show up here right there. Select all the resources, click on manage tags of the selected resources. Now remember this time around, we have to delete all tags associated with these resources. So if you scroll down, you will see remove tag. So click on remove tag, again, remove tag. This tag over here, the name tag is for the EC2 instance, remember. So we are gonna remove that as well. And then click on review and apply tag changes. So all tags will be removed. So apply changes. Now, if you go back and look at your EC2 instance, your EC2 instance should not have the name tag that you had provisioned or assigned to it. So you see, there is no name now for this EC2 instances. So if you click over here and you go back and you look at it, you will see that that name that we had given EC2 one and EC2 two, that has gone. Okay, so it's still loading. Okay, so you see both the names have gone and now you have an instance like that's it. There are no other tags that are associated with these resources. Similarly, over here, if I refresh this, it's my S3 bucket, right? If I refresh this, you will see that the tag has disappeared. And the same thing is true for our DynamoDB table as well. So if you go here, we click on tags, and you will see tags is empty for both of our tables, right? And S3 bucket hopefully has come now. And if we scroll down, we will see that basically there are no tags over here. So we'll finish loading in a little bit, but we have basically successfully deleted all tags, right? So that's it from me guys for today. Hopefully this particular hands-on lab was helpful, right? Uh, do post your feedback and comments, do practice this. Okay, it's a very useful utility and a good feature to know. And I will see you shortly in some other video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.